Good morning. So since we found out that our newborn has goiters, and uh, they tend to really be low in iodine and potassium and selenium, which we knew, and we've been giving them a mineral block, but uh, granules I hear are, tend to be better. Um, they tend to eat more of them, and it tends to be more natural than licking a block for them as opposed to like a cow. Um, so we're going to give her a little shot of selenium with vitamin E this morning. And uh, I've never done this before. I'm supposed to get it under the tongue and give him four cc's. So I kind of got a theory that I can corner her, place this kind of here, get it under her tongue, and give her four cc's and watch my numbers. So that's my theory. So let's see how it goes. Hey, girl. These sheep are like wrangling a bowl or something. Yeah, they're pretty heavy, and I'm not sure. I haven't done this with them before, and I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see, but we're going to give it a go. Hey, Mama. See what this? Put it under your tongue. Open up. There we go. What's that piece of She took it. She got some on her lips, but I gave her a little extra. She doesn't mind it because she's letting me touch her lips with it again. So they must make it taste pretty tasty for them. I'm trying to place that smell. Cream soda. It smells like cream soda. So it smells like... I, I, actually, I'm going to take a little bit. <laughs> Just checking you. All right, let's go check on the new little, the newborn and see how he's doing with his goiters. There's the little guy moving around. Look, he's thinking about nursing. Mama's a little nervous with us in here. Bambi's in the back hiding out. We're going to give him a little bit of selenium too. It won't hurt. I really don't know if he's going to survive. He's definitely getting stronger. And you know, these are softer. <laughs> From the first time I felt his uh, his thyroid glands here, they were quite hard and they're softer. We're hoping this little guy pulls through. I mean, he's peeing, so he's getting he's getting liquids and fluids in him somehow. Um, he's trying to suck on my finger right now, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna give him two cc's here. It's hard for him to swallow, so this is gonna be slow going for me. I'm just gonna try real slow. Hold it so I can see the numbers. He's not sure about that. He's trying. It's all on his lips. We gotta shove some of that back in his mouth. Come on, buddy, it's time for your cream soda. You want some cream soda there, friend? Huh? Keep working on that. Right, get this cream soda back in his mouth. He's not too. I have I applied three cc's because I know he missed a little bit there. We got to give a little bit extra, and I don't know if this fellow is gonna make it, but we're hoping and praying. He's definitely stronger than he has been. Like I said, he's peeing, which is really good. And so th these goiters, please stop playing with that latch, son. It's very noisy. Um, so these goiters are from a lack of potassium iodine. And uh, and so um, we're going to try and give him actually a pill made for humans and crush it up and try and get it in him and see if we can shrink these a little bit. We call the vet and he... He said it's worth a try. Um, he would try it. He'd been doing this for 35 years. He's successfully treated some that way. And so we're just hoping this little guy can feel his heart. He's trying to nurse. So he's definitely doing better. He's definitely got more strength. As you can see, and he's going straight for, to nurse there. He's looking for a... He's, he's on the teat. He's on the teat right there. It's got to hurt to swallow like that.
He's like, I don't know about this cream soda. Mama already got her. She already got Drew gave her the her selenium. What about the what about Bambi? Yeah, Bambi gets some Bambi got some too. So we're just hoping. <laughs> I think he wants some more. He's really friendly. Brabble, go some. Look at, look at. <laughs> so let's see how they're doing. Let's see. Let's see how little Bambi's doing this morning. Bambi's a little sleepy. She's looking good and strong. She's like, I want some cream. She's great. You want to taste some cream soda? Hmm? What do you think? So they're really friendly, really sweet little sheep. Which is what we want to do. We want to handle our sheep a lot. We don't want a bunch of wild ranch sheep. And uh, we really enjoy we enjoy our animals a lot. She's a little nervous with us in here. So, all right, that's that. Hey guys, this is Drea. So, um, we went to town and we got a little nipple for him to start bottle feeding. Um, these red ones are the best nipples. I've bottle fed a lot of goats and they really like these ones, at least pygmies. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got this one. There's black ones, the black rubber ones that just pop over, but I really like these screw on red ones. Um, this is going to tell me, you know, if he really is getting milk because we got home and he was standing on his own. He still seems really strong. Got to have that little air hole at the top. And he's drinking some. Just not real good gulps yet. So he's not really, he's not really swallowing real well. Takes a little bit, but not, not much. <laughs> He doesn't really want it. That was a boy. Joel called our vet, and um, our vet actually has sheep too. Anyways, we found out that it's a goiter. What's going on with his neck? Um, it's very common in this area where we, we've moved to. Um, we don't have enough uh, potassium and iodine in our soil. And so they're extremely deficient in that. And we were giving them a mineral block, like a, just a salt mineral block. Anyways, we found out sheep don't really like that. Um, they don't really lick on it. What sheep need are the, the powder minerals. That's, that's when they take it a lot better. That's what our vet told us. So, um, unfortunately, the feed store was out of that. So, we have to wait till next week to be able to get that. Um, but she said... She doesn't really think there's much hope for it. She actually had a bunch of lambs that had the exact same problem. Um, just because there's, it's just, I guess it's a really bad area as far as it's deficient in that. Um, our soil is deficient in that. And so, so we're just going to wait it out and see. But I'll keep trying with this bottle, trying to give him little bits. But he doesn't seem to be swallowing much. The vet said um, she's had, you know, usually the babies die within 24 hours, but she said she had a baby last a week. So we're hoping the best for him. I was talking to our feed store lady. Scoot you over that um, She said she's heard of success stories with these babies, um, but that's just hearsay, and our vet was saying that's not the case. So 
We're just going to see what happens and just keep trying with him and giving him little bits. Um, see what happens. But at least we know what's the problem and what's going on and what we can do to prevent that in the future. Um, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully this won't happen again in the future if we keep them stocked up on their minerals. And um, Evelyn, please don't look into some other routes of trying to uh, build up the iodine and potassium in their in their diet. So, anyways. That's the news on the little guy. We'll just keep watching him and helping him. See what happens. So there's our update on the new life on the farm. The two little ones. And uh, we're really excited. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated how it goes. So, talk to you later. Bye.